So the question was, why would I have a query that performs really quickly when I run it by itself, but then it blows chunks whenever I run it inside a function? To give you a query as an example, what I've done is I've created an index on the users table using the Stack Overflow database, of course, on the users table by location so that I can quickly find people in a given location. Then this is the query that I'm going to say I'm going to run. Go get me, based on somebody's location, go get me the top one user in that location ordered by reputation descending. I'm looking, trying to find the most popular user. Now you'll notice though that reputation and display name aren't in my index. So SQL Server has to make a problem or has to make a decision. Should it use the index or not? Now when I run the query out by itself, not inside any kind of function, SQL Server does use the index. Here, it's doing an index seek on that location index, but the reason why he's doing it is he actually makes a bad decision based on how many people are going to come back. See how 49,000 people actually come back, but SQL Server only estimated 65? That's because when I ran the query by itself, I used a local variable to store India. Whenever I use a local variable, SQL Server simply doesn't use the contents of that to guess how many rows are going to come back. If I didn't use a local variable, if I did it by copy pasting India directly into the query, and then I go, oops, let me take off a little semicolon there, go copy paste India directly into the query, you'll notice I get a different execution plan. Because here now, SQL Server is accurately estimating how many rows are going to come back. So this comes back to strike us, or comes back to haunt us, if we tested the query using a variable, like we do at the top, then I turn around and put this exact same query even though it's not actually the same query. I put this exact same query down in a user-defined function. Here, this is an inline function, which is supposed to go in line just kind of like a view. It should, in theory, perform the same way. But here, because we have the benefit of an incoming parameter, when SQL Server goes to build an execution plan for this, it'll go based, build a plan based on whatever our data actually has in it, like in this case, India. So if I create the function, oops, I should say create or alter there, just to make sure I get it right, create or alter, then I go run a select from that user defined function, I get a different execution plan than if I had to run the thing by itself with that local variable. Here, SQL Server sniffs that incoming parameter and then decides I'm going to do a clustered index scan. So that's one example of many of how you can get a different execution plan for the same query when it's out on its own as opposed to inside a, in a function. Here, the real root cause is that that isn't really the same query. As soon as you do an, a local variable, you're really troubleshooting a different plan.